all senior citizens are covered, not only uh, the indigent ones. Uh, based on our conservative, because uh, conservative estimate, because our technical bureau is still studying the the matter, the proposed amount is two thousand five hundred. Um, if all senior citizens will be provided with a 2,500 pension, the conservative estimate at this point is um, 230 billion, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon, ma'am. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. My name is Nihal Abdul Rau from the DBM Budget Information Legislative Service. So, uh, with regard to the budgetary requirement, Mr. Chair, we note that um, based on the census of population conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority uh, in calendar year 2015, uh, it provides that um, there is a total population of 7,548,769 and aged 60 years old and above, of which 3,835,066 and 66 are under the indigent bracket. Now, we understand that the bills propose that all senior citizens are covered, not only uh, the indigent ones. Uh, based on our conservative, because uh, conservative estimate, because our technical bureau is still studying the, the matter. Um, if all senior citizens, given the 2015 census of population will be provided with uh, the proposed 1,000 senior citizen uh, pension. The estimate, the estimated budgetary requirement, Mr. Chair, is um, 92 billion plus. That is a conservative estimate, and that is yet to be final. Uh, that is yet to uh, we are yet to finalize that uh, based on the study uh, being conducted by our technical bureau, and that it also excludes the administrative cost um, of uh, managing or administering the uh, the pension, and the administrative cost is usually one point eight percent of the pension cost. So, um, if uh, well, in the other bills, the proposed amount is 2,500. Um, if all senior citizens will be provided with a 2,500 pension, the conservative estimate at this point is um, 230 billion, Mr. Chair. Now, uh, that amount is not again. How much? That amount how, is much not how much? How much is your estimate? The conservative estimate is 230 billion plus, Mr. Chair. And that is not yet final because our technical view is still studying the matter. That would be all, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, okay, please proceed, ma'am. Yes, um, uh, yung pong aming naging uh, recommendation, ano po, uh, yun lang po, para lang din uh, ma-cover natin, kasi nga po, since we are talking of the universal coverage of our uh, senior citizens, ano po, given that those uh, 4 million, uh, 85,066 are already covered by the DSWD, and uh, if the uh, good Congress would also allow the additional 540,577, which is on our wait list, will also be covered by our uh, existing social pension program. So, nasa 4.5 million na po in case ang covered na ng DSWD. And now, outside that 4.5 million, yun nga po, uh, Mr. Chair, ang recommendation namin, kung maaari, ay uh, i-cover na sila ng ating mga local government units. However, we also recognize the point that was raised by our honorable congresswoman that there are certain local government units ano po na maaaring hindi capable uh, financially to also provide for the rest of this uh, our senior citizens to cover yun nga po kanilang social pension so most probably with the help of our national commission of senior citizens here we could um uh discuss further those details in case po uh, these uh, bills will be uh, enacted into law kasi ang nakikita ko po dyan, Mr. Chair, ang posibleng mangyari, especially to those local government units who may not be financially capable, ay um, magkakaroon ng cost sharing with the national government, Mr. Chair. Music